Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist Man the Foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. Man. This is what happened last week on Earth. We got to talk about it, man. For starters, we got to talk about this situation right here. Don't play with my food, yo. I've been watching Big Brother. This is Big Brother 26. And they got a contestant running around named Lisa who's running around sprinkling glitter inside of people's food, man. I ain't like this not one bit when I seen it. Um, I think it happened on the live feed or something to something to something to something. I don't know, but I seen it. She literally walked and grabbed some glitter off the shelf and just sprinkled inside my man's and them food like that, man. I did not like that not one bit. And this, um, her name Lisa, this Big Brother 26, this, this really got to me, man, because don't play with my food, yeah. Especially, like, man, like, you got to be my wife. You can't, My kids can't eat, mm-mm. Daddy, I cooked. <laughs> You right. Thank you, baby. I'm not eating that. So, as this person right here, man, like, like I said, her name Lisa. For her to like, you can see her, man. She is sprinkling. That sprinkle, yo. Look at that, man. Weird fingers and stuff around my food. This man eating, minding his business, talking to his people. Um, I think they were have nots for the um, week, and he not a have not no more. This is his first meal, and I seen the footage of it, man. Like she walked, she seen them eating. They was. You know, they were eating, doing their thing. She walked by. She said, hold on. Walked back over there, grabbed something off the shelf, came over there, and just, ugh, her whole hand over my man's plate. It got to me, man. So that's what, that's what happened last week on Big Brother. Um, Was he right or was he wrong? I got to ask this question to y'all, man. These two people right here, man, they battle rappers. One, with the, um, one named Doc, one named Bad News. They got into an altercation. Bad News hit the floor first. And when he's finna go get busy with him, my man's um dot. Bad news, his friend pulled up with the blicky. And, and, you know, ah, no, 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 it ain't going like that. It ain't going like that. Was he right or was he wrong? Um, my question, I mean, the thing I would say about this is, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of on both sides, you know. Like, I don't think he should have went over there with the Thule out and stopped it. But if my man's getting into a one-on-one -on -one fight. It depends how I feel that day. We might jump him. Well, I'm, I ain't going to let my man get beat. I ain't going to let my man fall to the ground like that. So, I don't know. But it's a fair fight. It's one-on-one. -on -one. It depends what type of person you is, man. What type of day you having. I don't know. But a lot of people saying, like, it's this happened in the battle rap world. Um, I'm an outsider looking in. So, I'm looking at some of the um, battle rappers. They saying, like, Nah, he wrong for that. He shouldn't have stopped it. He shouldn't have stopped it. Or he shouldn't have stopped it with the Thule. And some people saying that, nah, my daddy said, if one fight, we all fight. So, I don't know. But I'm saying, it is, it's, it's a bad situation. Like, Dot had him on the ground. And he's going to go over there and finish him off. His man's run up. And a lot of people don't think that's right. But a lot of people say it, it could be right if he didn't came, if he ain't come, you know, with equipment. So, I don't know, man. That, that happened in Battle Rap World last week. Editor or Oedipus Complex? Oedipus Complex is when the mother, I mean, when the son is in love with the mother. So, this boy right here, who we, we ain't gonna show his face. That's the son of Drea Diamante or something like that, man. I forgot how I pronounced her name. Sorry. I don't know you. But, um, Shorty is, um, she played in, um, Sopranos and... She was the mother of um, somebody on Sons of Anarchy. Y'all know what I'm talking about, though, man. But her son edits her OnlyFans. And um, I don't know, man. This is kind of this kind of weird situation. I don't know. Like, yeah, he edited in her, you know, he edited in her stuff. But what kind of stuff is it? Is she going all out? Or is she just taking sexy photos? I don't know. Can't really answer this, so he might he might get a complex though, man. He might fall in love with his mama. She ain't a bad looking woman. Never been. She never been a bad looking woman. But I don't think he's looking at his mama like that, but I don't know. And I just learned the word edit Oedipus complex, so I had to use it, you know. Editor Oedipus. Alright, that happened last week on OnlyFans. Alright. Hmm. 
That might have been mother issues. This right here might be daddy issues. This is WNBA player Brittany Griner, a.k.a. Um, the Russian jail mate, inmate. You know, she got stuck over there with that vape. But she back in town, man. And she had a check her, um This lady right here she was doing an interview with. Um, how I go now? She was like, yeah, you finna be a mother soon. And Brittany Griner checked her like, nah, I'm finna be a father. I'm gonna make her call, I'm gonna make my baby call me Papa. And I want to know is like, is that a daddy issue? Should she? I mean, we can't say what she allowed to do and what she not allowed to do, but you know what I mean? Like, you you raising your baby to think you are the father, and you you can't why well, you can't be a mama like, or do you identify as a man? If you identify, because you know people got these um pronouns and plurals they want to add to their stuff he them they this whatever and um if so she might be what do you call it identifying as a man so if she identifying as a man and i don't know man i don't get into stuff like this i try to stay away from it, man it might be an issue we had this conversation friday night right here on the show man last friday and we talked about this with my co-host and i'm usually outnumbered with my beliefs and what I think and how I say stuff, but you know, Preem, he was kind of there with me for a little bit, you know, so we never know. That happened last week in the WNBA pronoun, LGBT community, or something. Making history, he is Tori. This dude right here, man, he in the Guinness Book of World Records for the longest duration of twerking for three hours and 30 minutes, you know, and this, he a Nigerian. So it's come on man, you a man dog, bruh. You win the twerking contest, you twerk the longest. A man. This ain't history, this history, man. This is supposed to be a woman. She's supposed to be some baddie. That's what I'm saying, man. Dude, Ice Spice could have won this, cause that's all she do is twerk. I never seen Ice Spice do much ever. I don't know when her songs. You thought I was a munch or something like that, or Poopity scoop do 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 do. I don't know her songs. I don't know her music. But every time I see her, I see her twerking. So I remember a couple um about a month ago, I heard somebody say this is probably the only person I ever been tired of twerking. Like every time I see her, she twerking is like, you know what? I'm kind of tired of seeing Ice Spice twerk too. You know. A couple of weeks ago, I think it was last week, they showed a picture of her twerking with the, with the the blah face. It was like, oh, she tired of twerking. You see, I don't know. So this dude right here, man, I ain't gonna try to pronounce his name. Baba Jaba 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 Israel Baba Duban Dubanjo Nigeria. I can't pronounce that stuff. He in Lagos, Nigeria. This happened on um, the 14th of January, but he in the Guinness Book of World Records for twerking the longest, the longest twerk man, twerk man, twerk man. Yeah, that's he. I don't know, man. He making his story. Should have been a woman who watched, who sat there and watched this man twerk for three hours and thirty minutes. Come on, man. This had to take place in Atlanta. No, I'm playing. <laughs> that happened last week in the Guinness Book of World Records. Crackhead shark. Do, 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 do. Crackhead shark. You heard about this, man. This shark's been tested positive for cocaine. You heard of cocaine? Better not this cocaine shark. These little sharks, too. This woman right here. It's coming off the coast of um somewhere. Whatever, the, whatever they... Packaging and shipping and stuff, something a package got lost. A package got lost. And sharks got a hold of it and it's going crazy. I just heard a story about how dolphins get high. Where they you know, they do their thing. They don't smoke like me. But they smoke like them. With a, they they puff though. They be on them puffer fish. What I heard dolphins do. I looked uh, I seen the video of it. They say dolphins like to take puffer fish and smack it around and get it all riled up and stuff. Take them to the top of the, um, you know, the ocean. Throw them up in the air and stuff and get them all riled up and just take little bites of them. Just <laughs> and it releases some kind of toxin from the puffer fish when they're getting all scared and hysterical and stuff. And and they just ah, let them go and they what's up, girl? How you doing, man? Blowing it out they blow hole or whatever man I don't know how they get down But they don't kill it They don't kill the puffer fish They just do that to get intoxicated man So yo These, these streets is getting 
they, I don't know. I ain't got no joke for that. It's getting wicked. And that what happened in the ocean last week. Oh, did he do it or did he not, man? I'm tired of hearing about, man, Puff Daddy allegedly paying a million dollars to have Tupac murked. Um, We've been saying this since 1996. I lived through this whole situation. That's why I ain't want to watch Biggie movie. It's like, uh, I don't want to see Notorious movie. Uh, I don't really want to see Tupac movie. I seen NWA, but I ain't really want to see NWA. I don't like these biopics and stuff, man, because I lived through it. I know everything they didn't say. It's like, man, I was there in 19... I wasn't there, but, you know, I was living in 1996 to know what happened and all that stuff, and time can go on, and I don't care how they change the story or whatever. So, man, Puff Daddy, did he do it or did he not? Because, like, now they're saying they, in some court documents reveals P. Diddy paid $1 million. And you don't know if they lied in these court documents or not. But it's in the court documents and it's just coming back around resurfacing again it's like come on man i didn't heard this since the man got murked so did he do it or did he not y'all let me know man it's gonna come out and what did what and we were trying to answer this last um friday on the show we was like what didn't puff daddy do just making all his dirt come back around you know what didn't he do? You know, everybody got all these accusations about Puff Daddy. And he probably, I don't know. He did him, didn't do it. I don't know. But there's a lot of stuff coming out. So what didn't he do? Because he did everything else and it was hiding that stuff. Now, he ain't do something. And all his business coming out there, man. So everybody like, hey, man, that's what we was thinking last Friday, man, my co-host. Because we go live every Friday on the channel at 9 p.m. talking about stuff just like this. Matter of fact, everything we talked about on here is what we talked about Friday. I think I missed the twerk story, though, for some reason. I don't think I got the answer on that, so maybe we had to revisit that. I'm going to look back on the show and see. That what happened last week in rap news, I guess. Boneless. Mm. This kind of crazy story right here, man. Ohio State Supreme Court says that boneless wings can have bones in them. At this restaurant somebody went to, they <laughs> they choked up on some damn bones one time, man. They were like, hey, man, these boneless wings. They were like, yeah, um, sorry, man. They're like, nah, I'm suing you, cuz. I ordered boneless wings. I choked on the bones, you know. Maybe I chipped the tooth or something. I don't know what injury they endured, but they found a bone inside of their food at this restaurant. They took it to court. They wound up taking it to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court said, look. Your boneless wings can have bones in them. So why are you have? Why is there boneless wings? I don't get that. Boneless. Less. What would less less is it less or less? You know, boneless or boneless. Boneless means there's no bones. Boneless is like less bone. It's spelled L-E-S-S, but boneless. I don't know, man. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about this story, this situation, man. Are the people wrong for that? Is the Ohio Supreme Court wrong for having bones inside of boneless or boneless wings? I got big teeth and I tss, like a damn snake over here. I don't know. Oh, the Olympic Zest Fest. I don't know, man. A lot of people got a whole bunch of controversy over this because drag queens was doing their thing at the um the Olympic opening ceremony, man. And um, a lot of people was mad about this, especially this picture right here because they had the... Um, the Last Supper. So you having drag queens, trans drag queens, um, what do you call them? Doing Christianity. I'm like, y'all making people mad, yo. I don't know what y'all doing. But it was the Olympic Zest Fest, man. Um, Gladiators come together to fight for your country to see who is the best. Arr! Got a big turkey leg. A mug of beer. Yo, ho, ho. And a bottle of rum. And you got um drag queens. <laughs> coming out the um so yo i don't know man i don't know what they trying to do i know a lot of people was mad it was i wasn't mad i was looking like man y'all in france ain't like france we we gay anyway and everybody everybody always thought france was old well, them french dudes they, they, tambourine players i don't know y'all know what i mean though man so that's kind of crazy too um Ooh, this story right here, the Sonya Massey story. I ain't really want to talk about this Friday, and we didn't talk about it. I, I talked about it on the fly. Um, when I heard this story, I was under the impression that she threw the water. If y'all don't know the story, 
Sonya Massey is the black lady, black woman right here, was shot and killed by this dude right here. He's a cop. They had a standoff, they say, inside of their kitchen. And she, he, you know, she threw some water on him, they alleged. And I don't know, man, it's, it's a crazy story because he didn't want to, they didn't want to admit it. They said that the people didn't do it. They had something to do with it. They tried to cover it up and all that stuff. I was under the impression she threw the water. Um, I 100% seen the video of the woman throwing the water. My co-host did not. So it made me look like the bad guy. I was like, I see, y'all didn't see that. They were looking like, no, we didn't see that. And I seen the video they seen and I couldn't find the video that I seen. I seen like the first two days when the story first broke. And I usually don't talk about stuff like this on my channel, man. I don't talk about nobody's pain, ship, harshness. I don't do politics. I don't do religion like that on here. Politics, religion, and, you know, stuff like that. Um, You know, this shit that's going to perpetuate hate and crimes and stuff like that. You know, like, come on, man. Everybody want to talk about it. Everybody got their point of view, but... I, ain't, I don't, don't want to do that on the show, on this channel. I try to bring people together or ha try to not have a, just to have an outlet, you know, just to speak my mind and have fun without bringing all the, like, I don't care about that, man. Y'all can, y'all can have the negativity. I just want to have, I'm going to talk about midgets and unicorns and something. Just have fun. So I ain't really want to talk about this. So this story right here, man, I don't know. The Sonya Massey story. Like I said, when I seen it, because I'm, I'm always thinking like, don't resist, just put your fucking hands up, close your mouth, turn your hands, put your hands, and I seen the video, and it was like, man, she didn't resist, I'm looking like, man, I seen the video, I actually seen the video, I'm talking about, I seen the water come out, the steam, the smoke fog, and stuff hit the ground, then he did what he did, and it was like, they was looking at me like, we ain't see that, so I had to like, call the audible and say, yeah, we not going to talk about this, because I ain't going to look like the bad guy from what i've seen but i can't find what i've seen no more i only seen it twice i've seen it like i've seen it well, i've seen it once maybe twice but i've seen it a couple of days then the next couple of days i didn't see that footage no more so all right pg that woman man and her peoples and all her family and all the stuff out there man yo this is a dirty situation they did try to cover it up they did they did do the damn thing they did do what they did you understand but it was like mm, crazy and last but not least the story i seen happen last week is robert downey doomer robert downey jr came out at um what is it san diego comic-con and he said he gonna be dr doom they had this big old thing like who gonna be dr doom who gonna be dr doom and it revealed itself to be robert downey jr um i don't know how i feel about this well the reason my first initial thought with this of how i feel about this simple as fact he capping. I don't think he um gonna be Doctor Doom. I think he lying. I think he just wanted to be there and show up and surprise everybody. Everybody want to know who Doctor Doom gonna be in the next um, coming up in the next phases of this Marvel going on. And I think he just wanted you know wanted to be there, and he just showing up playing. He just playing around. I think he it's all a joke. I don't think they gonna announce it yet who gonna be Doctor Doom, and I think he will be in the next phase. Probably gonna be. Iron Man. He gonna be Iron Man again. But I don't think he gonna be Dr. Doom. I think he just playing. I don't think he wanted to... In the, man, everybody in the uproar right now about this. They is in the uproar. They trying to say, well, Kane could have... Kane the Conqueror. They could have kept him then. They start bringing up Robert Downey Jr. past his history of um all his trials and tribulations because, hey man, if y'all don't know Robert Downey Jr. was one of them ones, man. Like, he used to wake up in people's houses on a bender, smoking and drinking all night and doing whatever he do. I don't know. Waking up in little girls' beds and stuff. Mm-hmm. Look it up, man. So, Robert Downey Jr. So, they tried to break that. The race car did cover the factor right now about my man's, um, what's his name? Jonathan Majors, because they said Jonathan Majors, what he was doing, he was defending himself, running from a white woman. You know? Then they saying, um, oh boy, Robert Downey Jr. record way worse than his, so y'all letting him back in there. Um, Robert Downey Jr., well, I don't think he had violent crimes, but what you call it, he, he's alleged to have violent crimes, King the Conqueror, what's his name? Jonathan Major, you know, see? Then they're trying to bring up the fact that, um, 
Robert Downey Jr. did blackface in the movie Tropical Thunder. And I love that movie, man. Y'all can't take that from him, man. He he did a parody. He did blackface in a movie versus other people doing it for them Halloween and stuff and putting mustaches and fingers over their face and doing stuff. And Hey, man, we, I didn't see blackface that was not in the movie. Like, everybody else who did blackface, I didn't see who. Man, so many people. What's the damn dude from Ink Master? He did it. It's, um... Everybody then did black. Well, not everybody. You know what I mean? But there's a lot of people, they do it for Halloween and stuff, and they do it on their own time. Robert Downey Jr., he got paid to do that. And he did a good job, man, playing the black man. <laughs> and, hey, yo. If y'all ain't never seen Tropical Thunder. And I don't think he got in trouble for that. I don't think he should get in trouble for it or be scrutinized for it. So, you never know, man. But Robert Downey Jr. is supposed to be playing Doom. Dr. Doom. And... Avengers Doomsday. I don't know, man. I do not know. I do not believe it. I just don't believe it. I do not 100% do not believe he is going to be Dr. Doom in this movie. But that's it, man. That's all the things that happened last week on Earth, man. Like I said, I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m., man. Y'all got to come through and holler at me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons to get this pimping. I mean, all this, damn, I messed that up. Hit that like button, comment button, share button, subscribe button, notification bell, all them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. I ain't never did that. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is about over with, man. I just want to tell y'all what happened last week on Earth. Um, I'm going to do this again, man. Like I said, I go live on Fridays. Y'all tell me in the comment section. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about uh, Dr. Doom. Y'all think Robert Downey Jr. going to be Dr. Dude? That's what I want to know. There's a lot of stuff to talk about, but we're going to do it right here again Friday, man. Right here on this channel live. Come through and I'll let you, boy. Heist Man the Foe. This has been Last Week on Earth. This is a dangerous group, is it? Groups that we're dealing with now. All right, this time, but I'll be back, and sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.